What's going on guys? Welcome back. A few days ago I got something pretty interesting in the mail uh, and I'm really excited to share with you guys. If you haven't heard of them already, it's this fairly new company I believe called Skids Grind Plates. Now if you were a aggressive inline skater in the late 90s, early 2000s, you might know a thing called soap shoes or grind shoes. They're basically a shoe that has a little hard H block under the arch of your shoe that you can run around, hit ledges, rails, whatever you want, just like you're on blades, but they're just attached to your shoes. They were the coolest thing ever. They went out of business or they stopped producing products, I believe in the mid 2000s. And ever since then, there hasn't been a way to grind other than slapping on your aggressive inline skates and hitting some grinds. It wasn't until just a few years ago where this company called Skids came out with a new approach to grind shoes. These are not grind shoes obviously, but they are grind plates for your shoes. All you do is slide your foot in through here, strap down the heavy duty Velcro strap, and uh, you're off and grinding. I really love the concept of these uh, without even trying them just because they're such a small little piece of equipment. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. I believe they come in at about $30, $35 US. Um, and really you can carry them almost anywhere in your backpack or whatever. So they don't have to be these heavy specialized shoes. Um, you can put these on any shoe and make them grindable. Yeah, you just, you can carry them in your backpack or wherever, throw them in your car. If you see a ledge or a rail or something that you want to hit and you don't have your skates on with you, just strap these up, run up, hit that ledge or rail and, uh, you know, just test it out uh, before you come back with your skates and session it. Uh, I just think these could be a really fun way of uh, practicing uh, as well as uh, testing out ledges and rails without kind of drawing a, a crowd or, or having people with their eyes on you because you can get in, get out really quick and just test a spot without, you know, gearing up to actually session it. It's pretty funny that uh, these actually came in the mail, oh, maybe a couple of weeks after I posted on Instagram about how my old uh, rollerblade RB, can't remember the name of them, but they're grind shoes, basically a, a soap knockoff, but rollerblade brand the whole sole started pulling off uh, after I started using them again because they were so old. And I was really upset by that, you know, because every once in a while I like to just not have to put my blades on uh, to just hit a few grinds on my practice box. So I'm really excited to see how these perform um, in comparison to those and in comparison to actually aggressive skates. I do want to say this isn't a sponsored video. They were nice enough to supply me with this copy for review. Everything from here on out in this video is totally my opinion um, on this product and uh, I cannot wait to put these on my shoes. So let's strap up and start sliding.
right, so what do I think about these grind plates? Well, let's find out, starting with the pros. First up, they uh, fit on any shoe that you already own. Second pro, they're small and lightweight. Uh, it's super easy to pack with you anywhere you go. If you find that ledger rail that you just want to try out, you can just pull them out, strap them up, and hit that ledger rail and be on your way. Next up, the straps and the plastic are both high quality materials. Uh, I honestly think they're gonna last you quite a few sessions. I was running around for, oh, probably a good hour, hour and a half on them, maybe even two hours. Uh, they held up quite well. Next pro, the plastic slides on anything extremely well without any wax. I don't know what plastic or material this is made out of, but I want these on my frames and sole plates. It's just amazing stuff. Next up, these are just a really inexpensive way to start grinding. I think they come in at about 30 to $35 US. And the last one, you don't have to have any skating skills uh, to start grinding on anything. So that's a pretty solid list of pros, but let's take a look at the cons. So the first con, the actual groove in it uh, is a nice shape, but I wish it was just a subtle bit deeper and just a bit wider. I found it hard to actually hit that groove perfectly every single time, especially on both uh, feet. If you don't hit that groove, you're basically gonna get on and just slide out really quick. And then when you slide out, you're sliding out to rubber and rubber on anything uh, is just gonna stick and toss you. So the next con I would say is the fact that I found myself slipping sideways when I was just walking around on accident, just on the concrete, uh, because when you put these things on your feet, here's the bottom of your, of your shoe sole, and then you have this like big chunk of plastic just that you're standing on. So if you don't have your toes all the way down, your heels all the way down, and you kind of push sideways a little bit, your whole foot's just gonna slide off. Making it a little sketchy when you're just like walking and running around on them. And the next thing to kind of piggyback on that last con is the fact that I actually started feeling a little bit of achy arches because the hard plastic is basically right under your arch and getting pushed up into that area. So they're not something that I would really like to be in more than probably an hour. And the next con is another one that kind of is unfortunate because soap shoes or grind shoes that have the grind plate built into the bottom of the shoe sole actually don't have this problem, which is basically I was finding my skids grind plates to be kind of ever so slightly moving forward or slipping at a, just a little bit of an angle under my foot. You're thinking you're jumping in the right place that you were supposed to last time, but it has shifted ever so slightly forward or angled a little bit on one foot. So one foot will get on or something and the other one foot will be just slightly off. So it'll slide out of the groove and off and just stick while the other foot's sliding. I was really getting kind of frustrated with this because they, they're really good straps and they do get tight, but I think the fact that they're not a part of your sole can make them kind of get a little bit, you know, pushed around and they don't stay in the same place. I, it was just really tough for me because being an inline skater, I'm so used to hitting that exact spot every single time and knowing where my H blocks are that when they're moving on you just ever so slightly can really throw off your whole grinding game. So, who are these four? I think these are for the people that want to try grinding, um, but just have no skate skills and don't want to put in the effort to learn how to skate in either skateboarding or inline skating and just want to try and just feel the, the adrenaline of sliding down a rail or a ledge or what have you. Who these aren't for? I would say the inline skater that wants to practice grinding. Um, I just think they're too different and the fact that the H block isn't in the correct place all the time, um, it, it, they're just, it just, they're two separate sports in my opinion and I think you'd be better off practicing on inlet skates. That being said, I do think they are great to try something, say a handrail or a ledge that's just, a, just outside your comfort zone that you don't want to hit on inline skate yet and you just want to jump and feel it and get just the body placement for jumping on the rail. Um, I think these are great for that uh, and just getting the confidence for that. 
but I wouldn't say these are an aggressive inline skate grinding training replacement necessarily. So if you guys are looking for just an inexpensive product that allows you to go grind anything uh, without any kind of skating knowledge, I would say look no further, this is for you. They're just a lot of fun and you can't really go wrong. So in the end, uh, I had a lot of fun on these. They were definitely harder than I originally expected them to be and they weren't quite as the same as inline skates as I wanted them to be, but I thought the challenge actually made it even more fun, to be honest, and it, it kind of made it its own extreme sport in a way, like freestyle walking. I mean, they give you the ability to run up to almost anything, slide on almost anything super well, and then run away. Uh, or if you're gonna bail, just bail and run off. Like, it's, it really is an approachable way to start grinding uh, for anybody. So that's why I'm giving these a rating of 3.25 wheels out of four. If you guys have any questions about these grind plates, please feel free to ask in the comments below. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any of these uploads. And until next time guys, just keep rolling.